Yo, let me show you this, man. Let me show you this. Peaches in the building. Peaches in the building. Let me show you this, man. I done sent a video to Gonzo, but I had too many sherbets, man. And I asked him nicely, like, please, like, don't post that, man. And he was nice enough not to, like, don't. But yeah, I was just going off, ranting and raving. I was mad because we lost, man. And I thought we played good. Like, real talk, I thought we played well. We just didn't have that end product. We didn't have that Fernandez. We didn't have that Rashford. Like, they did. And yo, we put them into a position where they had to bring on the man them because they knew Yo, we were running the game. That's the best football I've seen us play in a bit. Like, but is it like playing good football, we lose, and then playing shit football, we win? Like, don't know. It makes you think, right? Like, it makes you think, man. Um, I thought Tom and Charlie's uh, watch line was brilliant. I thought it was amazing. Um, I always loved that. I look forward to that. I live for that. Like... It kind of makes you feel like you're at the match. You know what I mean? Just like having banter with the man them and talking to all the people in the chat there. Like, it's, 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 it's dope. It's like really dope, man. Um, I loved Gonzo's video today, the positives. Like, yo, he was dead on. You do have the positives with like Declan Rice. You do have the positives with Bowen. Like, Bowen, what did Gonzo say? He was like a force of nature? He really did look like that. Like, he was making himself a nuisance. Um, if I could get on to some negatives, Hilaire is not for me. Simple as. Hilaire is not for me. He's a good player. He has mad skills. But he's just not for me. And I don't think he's for Moyes. I don't think he suits the type of play that we're trying to produce. Like, I want to bring Alexander Silva back, man. I know he's playing lesser opposition where he is. I think he's in Greece right now. And I know he's playing lesser opposition. But, like, I seen one clip and I posted it. And a homeboy went through, like, three, four players, like, Grealish, like, but he didn't dive. Do we like Grealish? No. Is Grealish skillful? Yes. Why does he dive? You don't have to. It's weird. It's like all these good players, they dive or they do something that, like, ruins their game. Like, and they don't need to because they have bags of skill. Doesn't make sense to me, man. Doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, I want to shout out everybody in the live chat, like from Australia to Bahamas to New Zealand to America to Canada, of course, England, like, yo, I think we have the best fans in the world, best supporters in the world, and it's like, yo, we like to have a bit of this and that, back to back and forth, like, we all got opinions, I love that. I love that, man. Like, it, it, it's, 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 uh, it feels like home. You know what I mean? Straight up, man. And, yeah, I appreciate all of y'all. Like, straight up, man. Um, I see Gonzo's got a new pinball machine. It's like the champs or the champions or the champions. I don't know what it is, but I've seen it in the background on his video today. It was dope. It was dope. Anyways, I want to big up everybody. You know, uh, from the Hammers chat, big up all of them. From the live chat, big up all of them. And, yeah, man, West Ham, look, look, we look good. Who thought we'd be, like, in seventh spot this time before the season started? Like, man, and man, we're talking about relegation. We're seventh. I know we were, like, fifth before, but we're seventh. It's not a bad place to be, man. David Moyes has got it right. And I wasn't David Moyes' biggest fan as, as much of y'all were. His backroom staff is the key, though. That is the key to unlock our success. And 
Yo, we're getting some success right now, man. And it's really good to see. It's about time. Like three wins on the track. Who would have thought that, man? Three wins on the track, who would have thought that? Like we are bound to lose. And yeah, we lost. But we lost because like we didn't have that clinical finisher. I know you got a 45 million quid man who's like supposed to be finishing. He's not for me. He's not for me, man. I, 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 I'd like to bring Xander Silva back. Xander, 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 Xander Silva. I'd like to bring him back. And maybe like, I, it looks like we're gonna get Josh King. I don't want Josh King. I'd rather have that Armstrong boy in the championship, man. Any day of the week, man. Any day of the week. Like real talk, man. I thought um, Becky's match review was spot on. Uh, Gonzo was angry, like in the the the, the uh, what? But it's not the review. I was gonna say preview, but the review, understandable. So was I. I drowned my sorrows. I had too many sorrows, man. Like I had too many sorrows, and like I was mad. But I got to calm down, chill out. And understand what went on. And I understand what went on. We caused Manchester United to like make those substitutions. And those substitutions killed us. But this is what I, I keep asking myself. Like we play shit football and we win. We play good football and we lose. So it's like, we need to play that good football, but we need that clinical finisher. Like, they, they got them in the under 23s too. Like, they, they, they got Alexander Silva. Like I said, like, yeah, man. I see West Ham finishing, I know in the top 10, I know like, yo, am I crazy, am I crazy? Are we gonna be like in fourth? Are we gonna finish in fourth? I got hyped about like how well we were doing. I do see us finishing in the top 10. Where? I don't know. If we can, I know we're poor right now and like it's gonna be difficult for us to bring somebody of that quality in January, but if we can, that would be a blessing in disguise, man. From the rumors I heard about Olivier Giroud coming in, no. That's just like an old man, Haller, and you already see Haller don't work. Like, I think Olivier Giroud could score some goals if he's played to his strength. But we can't even get a 45 million quid striker that we got from Germany to score some goals. We need a baller. So why don't we try maybe playing Ben Rama up front? What's so wrong with that? Like Bowen lit the pitch on fire yesterday. Fornals works his bollocks off like real talk. I know he didn't have the best of all games, but he works his bollocks off, man, as well as Suchek. Rice, <sighs> come on. Rice is just showing his worth, man. We need to offer Rice a new contract, 100. We need to offer Rice a new contract, offer a Rice, offer a Rice, offer a piece of Rice, a new contract, offer Rice, Rice, baby, a new contract, no doubt. And, we need to get somebody in that that, that, that that can score goals, but I think we have them already. One's on loan and one's on the bench. Because it ain't Haller. Haller ain't for me, man. I know many of y'all will disagree that he is for us. I don't think so. He, he played well yesterday. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dissing his play. He played well yesterday, but we need something else, man. 
like Adama Traore would be bomb, but that's not gonna happen. Imagine Mikel Antonio and Adama Traore. Like I used to watch Adama Traore when he was at Middlesbrough, when he got like um, uh, brought from the Barcelona B team, and like yo, he was ill, but like, and he still is ill, and I'd love him at West Ham, but that ain't gonna happen. Like. Who do we need, man? We need. We don't need somebody like Carol. We need somebody like, honestly, like a Jermaine Defoe. We need somebody like a Jermaine Defoe, man. Just like a poacher, man. That's all I got to say. Uh, big up, Gonzo. Big up, Gio. The job you do is exceptional. And it, it, it's much appreciated from all of us fans, man. I tune in every day, like, it's like my Coronation Street, man. I tune in every day, man, and I love it. I'm never disappointed, man. And yeah, I just wanna big up everybody, man. Big up everybody, y'all know who you are, man. Big up everybody, and yeah, more tunes to come still, and mad love from all the people, like, showing me love for the tunes, man. I put my heart into this, man. My West Ham heart into this, man. Trust me, man. All right, man. Big up, everybody. Stay blessed. Big up. And I love y'all, man.